so I want to create an object or a, a part that help me help, help me create that caster caster wheel. Now let me just type that tube uh, tube. So I want to use this to create the caster wheel. So I'll pick that. I'll pick on that. Then uh, I'll snap on the bottom end here and move all the way up somewhere here. Maybe somewhere here. And give some time to load whatever I want it. I'll right click and interrupt that to, to get off that command. First of all, let me just get rid of this. We don't, we don't need that. We'll get back to it when we need it. So we have this at the bottom end here. So we don't this one we need, but not to this length or not to this height. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click here and come and modify this modify this section and first of all you I have to check whether the bottom end here this plate I have to check the, the, the details of this plate the base plate of this of this uh, trolley so the base plate for that trolley I'll come here and I'll, 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 I'll be able to note that this is 150 by 150 millimeter and six millimeter thick so that's that is the information that will guide me in uh, in uh, customizing that part. So I'll come to parts here. So once I reach in the parts here, so I want to modify this bottom end. So at the end plate, the end plate is this one. So I want to make this to be 150 and also 150. Once I've done that, and the plate thickness is five millimeter. So I'll go ahead and click modify. Modify, apply, and give it an, an, an acceptance. Double click. It hasn't picked. So I want to enter that 150 and feed in there 150 and click OK. So you can see we've entered something wrong that will not be able to work properly. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to retain the thickness of the plate to be 6 and leave that, that at 150. I'll click OK. So the thickness will be 50. And the plate will be will be 150. So if you take a look, this is how it looks. But first of all, we have to verify and check whether this is 150 because we are in class and we have to counter check that and confirm to other students. Now let me just pick on that corner and move all the way to the bottom end here. So you'll be able to check at the bottom end here. It is 150. So let's check on the other end. And confirm that and move to this direction and click on that. You can see that is 150. Now we are coming to the legs of this of this wheel at the bottom end here. And how do we customize that? I'll double click on it once again so that we get this window back and come to parts, then come to parameters. This section we have we've finalized with it. And the the tube is a PD, it is a diameter 80 by the thickness of five millimeter. So our, our our end plate here, this six millimeter, and this tube is 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 eighty millimeter in diameter and th and five millimeter in, in 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 thickness. So we want to use this plate after uh, uh, immediately after we immediately we finalize with this. Now I'll come to parameters here. Now under parameters here we want to customize this these legs. So I'll come to chamfers here and I'll feed six. Once I feed six right there, you'll be able to see there's some chamfers here. There's a chamfer there. You can see a chamfer there. So I'll go ahead and add more chamfers. Still not enough to me. I'll, uh, I'll give it 15. 15 will be okay, and that will be fine. And I'll come at the bottom end here, at the corner here, and I'll feed uh, maybe eight. Let's see if, if, if eight will be okay, I'll add 10. Or 15 the same with the other with the upper one so that will be okay I'll give an okay I'll, I'll apply and give an okay that's correct now what I'm going to do I'm going to turn this round so that we see at this side you can see we have a bolt here but this bolt is way off the position we intend it to be on so I'm going to double click on it here then come to parts come to parameters and I want to shift this not on the on the surface of these uh, legs of, of, of this of, of the of the caster caster wheel. I'm going to pull it inward 
by either 30 millimeter inside. So I can see that. So I'm going to change the bolt size some, so maybe by 12, by M12, and change that to 8.8 XOX, and uh, click on that. You can see the bolt in, is in place, and you can I can give it some washers there. So that will be will be the shaft where the castor oil will be rolling about or turning about. Now I'm I'm going to apply that. I'm going to apply, I'll, I'll click modify, apply and give it an OK right, right there. So where do we get the wheel that will be turning about that bolt? Now I'm going to double click on this on this tube and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the height of this tube. This will be the trick. So how do I do that? I'll turn it round like this. I'll turn it round like this and target the top end here. So for now, I'll, I'll close this dialog box and click on this and drag, just click on it and drag it down like this. Double click on it and come to parts right there, come to picture, come to parts, come to parameters. So we have the tube in place. So the tube tends to be, let me just close this first of all, and I want to get rid of this Now, I want to explode this so that I handle it in each, each individual, each part as individual part. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to select this, right click and come to explode. I'm going to explode this part. So once I've exploded this, I'll be able to select on this. Then once I've selected on it, I'll be able to reduce this height to a, part, to a height that will be equivalent to, that will be enough for me to customize this into a wheel. So I'm going to select on this and drag it down, change that height to the thickness of a wheel. So I'm going to just select on this point, left click and hold and drag it down like that. Drag it down like that. So I'm going to pick on it once again and double click on it once again and I'll be able to see some dimensions of this. Top is 100 and I want this to flash. I want this slightly to be around 50 millimeter, around 50 millimeter. 50 millimeter is still big. I'll give it around 30 there. I'll click OK and see whether that will work perfectly well. But still not enough. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to this position where I'll be able to see it perfectly well. So I'm, go I'm going to select on this tube once again because we have, we've exploded every part now we're handling the, every part as individual part so I'm, i won't select on it right click and come to um special move or special move so in special move i'll be able to uh, manipulate the movement or uh, the, the movement of this uh, part i'll come to special move and click on linear then i'll check on my xyz i have x and y and z so we are moving this along the z axis so i'll Make sure insert move inside this move dialog box. I'll make sure everything zero except on the Z axis. On the Z axis, I'm going to feed one. Or to just for us to move slightly faster. So I'll just go back to one so that we don't we, we try to be accurate. So I'll click on that, then try move this part by one millimeter. One each one millimeter. Each time I click, it will move by one millimeter. And click on that and move by one millimeter. So you see it's flashing this side of the leg. So I'm, I'm going to come to navigate, right click, uh, click and uh, select rotate with mouse and pick on the mouse, then click and press the left, left button on mouse and hold and turn it around like that. So we'll be able to see it's almost flashing this end. So, but some parts of this uh, tube now it's turning to be a wheel. So now some part of this wheel is clashing with the other leg of the caster, caster wheel. Now I'm going to double click on this once again. Let me escape to to get rid of that command. Now double click on this and reduce the height. Reduce the height here by either 15 millimeter. We can give it 12. 12 and we come to 11 or 10. Give it, you can give it 10 right there and click modify and that's perfect. 
Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get rid of that, then come to navigate here. Then if I turn this route, if I turn this route, you'll be able to see it's now taking the shape or what you wanted it to be. Now I'm going to delete this beam because now an, an obstruction of what we are going to be on of what we are trying to do. Let me get rid of that. The amount you mouse over this and you see if I mouse over this, you can see the yellow line indicates a clean yellow line without any shadow of 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 of, of, of grayish thing. This means that it's this on it this plate on the not two in one. So this one there are two. So I'll click on it and delete one so that we, we remain with, with only one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this tube a little bit have uh, a little bit thicker. So I'm going to select on this and hide so that you can see how this is taking shape. So I'm going to double click on this tube. So in this tube, I'm going to increase the thickness here by by either 10 and see how that 10 re reacts. And 10 is slightly, slightly small. Let me add it to 30. And 30, you can see it, it's almost taking the, it's almost nearing the, the diameter of, the, of, of our bolt. So I'll add another 4, make it 34, and that will be okay. But so tight on the, on the bolt. So just give it 33. But now, the cast oil is so... It's it's not the diameter the external diameter of this castor oil. I mean I mean castor wheel, not castor oil. As castor oil is a different thing. Now, I'll just double click on it, and the castor wheel then will increase the di the diameter here by either 150, 150, 150. So they want to increase the diameter. You'll find it. The, the inner diameter also adjusting itself. So we'll, this will, will move all the way to 80. Change that to 80 and click that. Try and change that to maybe maybe 50. And we'll just move to 60 and 65. 68 will be okay now. Perfect. We give it that. Then we right click and redraw and we'll close that. So you can see we have our cast oil in place. I mean, cast wheel in place. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up between cast oil and cast wheel. Now, this is the way it looks, but the orientation is very, very wrong. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything here and I want to rotate this. So to rotate it, you have to take it into a position that it will be easy for us to perform that task. I'll select on that position and bring it somewhere here. So I want to rotate this. I select on it, then right click and come to special, special move and come to rotate. So I want to rotate it by 90 degrees. So along the line that I'm going to define. So I'm going to select everything though I have selected everything and, and I'm going to define which, uh, along which line do we intend to 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 rotate this we want to rotate this along this line from here to somewhere here to somewhere there perfect then click move so you can see it it is rotating but rotating in a different direction so we are going to do, undo that and put it and rotate it in a different way. So rotating it, it should be in a position, in a location where we'll, uh, we'll be able to define its rotationing, rotation uh, requirements. We'll be able to meet its, its, it is its rotation requirement. So I'm going to just move it away slightly by picking it from this position here and uh, take it somewhere there. So once I've selected everything, I want now to select a right click and come to rotate and along that line at 90 and, and along line, along a line, around a line by. So our, our line will be somewhere here and moving all the way to somewhere here. So we'll go ahead and click. Okay, 
So we'll play with this angle. So instead of 90, we'll give it 180 and we'll move to that. So you've seen it is somewhere there. So we want to pull it away by picking it from that from a position to this position here. So we have our cursor wheel in place, and that's how I came about it. Now we'll pick on the custom detail and custom connection and custom custom uh, custom detailing in the next uh, step. Let's meet then.